there was always kind of a lot of turmoil at home um, with my family and I always kind of felt like I was um, more of a burden to my to my parents especially my mom more than anything um, and when I got to be in about eighth grade I started to get pretty depressed and that's when I started cutting myself. I started to drink alcohol and experiment with drugs. When I got into high school, I started to get more attention from boys and I figured out pretty quickly that when I had this attention from guys, I started to feel like I was loved. Like, and it filled that piece that I felt like I was missing at home. And so I started to have a lot of different boyfriends and I would be intimate with them pretty quickly. As soon as that initial feeling of being in love or you know, infatuation wore off then, I had to get rid of them and find a new one because otherwise I would start to become unhappy again. By the time I got to 11th grade, um, I was really starting to go downhill fast. By the end of my junior year of high school, I had just broken up with probably the most serious boyfriend that I ever had and I started to hang out with this guy who was a year older than me and all of his friends and they like to drink a lot and smoke marijuana a lot and so that's what I started to do with them too. One night the beginning of that summer we were all drinking pretty heavily and um, Basically, I ended up having a one-night stand with this guy. I was pregnant at 17 years old from someone who wasn't even my boyfriend. My parents had always taught me that abortion was wrong, but suddenly when it was me who was the pregnant one, I felt like it was the only thing I could do to fix the problem that I had. And so I set everything up to have an abortion in the cities. Shortly before my abortion appointment, my mom looked through my purse one day and she found the paperwork for my abortion and she kind of freaked out, she was crying. She basically was trying to say anything she could to get me to not go forward with it and she ended up coming to me and saying that if I would just go with her to this place called New Life and have an ultrasound there, that she would support me in whatever decision I made after that. I told her I still planned on having an abortion no matter what, but that I would go get this done with her because she wanted me to do it. And so one week before I was supposed to have the abortion, I walked into the New Life Clinic with my mom. And I sat down on the exam table and they put the wand on my belly. And that's the first time that I saw my daughter. She was literally perfect in every way. I could see her heartbeat. I could see her arms and legs moving around. Um, she was really active and the ultrasound nurse typed on the screen, hi mommy, I love you, and they printed it off and gave it to me. And God really spoke to me that day. And I pretty much did a 180. I went from wanting to have an abortion at all costs to wanting to protect the life of my child, no matter what, no matter what the cost. And so that day I decided to keep her. When Annie was about one and a half, um, an old friend from high school started talking to me again. His name was Troy. And Troy said he wanted to take me and Annie out for dinner because he hadn't seen us in a while. And so we started hanging out and 
As the story goes, we ended up getting engaged and we got married and we had our son Ethan together. And things have not always been easy. We've had a lot of ups and downs, but I feel like we're stronger than ever at this point and we're a family and I'm reminded every day when I look at Annie of all the blessings that God's bestowed upon me and how he literally took the ashes that were my life and turned it into something indescribably beautiful. I don't feel like there are enough adequate words to say how, how beautiful I feel like my life is now and how awesome everything is. God helped me to see that I needed to be second and that I couldn't be selfish anymore and I needed to start making some changes in my life. I am Audra Picker and I am second.